So all of the parts in the system will be coming in from the station here on the left, which is a start, and it represents basically an inventory location in the manufacturing plant. And each of the parts will follow along and go to different stations based on the data. So that data is stored into variables, which are read directly from an Excel workbook. So there are there's a table for uh, the rework percentages, a table for work center ID, and a table of expressions for operation times. And the Excel data looks like this. So, so first, there are up to 10 part types that have been predefined in, in the model, and 50% of each will be, 50% um, of the parts will be blue and 50% will be red. And then the blue parts will go to work center two, then six, then four, then eight, and, and so on, and stop whenever we reach the last row. And the red parts will be going through the, this sequence. And for each of the steps, we enter an operation time here in the other sheet, and that time can be any expression in a standard arena format, so any probability distribution or constant number in, in its uh, hours. And then whenever an operation is complete, there's a chance that it wasn't perfectly uh, achieved. So we can decide to rework. So there's a percentage of rework for each step for each part type. So we can just enter that in this table right here. OK, so now let's look at this model actually running. So to follow along a little easier, we will start by just creating one single part. So we've changed this number of arrivals to one. So when I click play, I'm gonna get one part created and it will be randomly a blue or a red. It's a blue part. So that blue part goes to two, six, four, eight, ten, then one. And the operation times are the ones that are As soon as that part has completed all of the steps, then the execution is over. OK, we're going to be running the model a second time and now in a more realistic fashion. So we just clear this box here and we get infinite number of parts. So we'll have some blues and some reds. Oops, I'm going to just slow this down a bit. So a blue part comes in and then red part and so on and the part now we're going to be having a few parts in the queues in some of the work centers and, uh, and just keep running for a little while and after a while some of the parts leave the system and they're logged here and we count the total time spent and the total number of parts of each type 